Hello, welcome to Dan Cave Reviews, uh, New Jedi Order, uh, session 01. So, in this session, we had a bunch of the party members m meet up on, wow, what a mind blank. Um, I hate that when you have the word in your head, second ago when that pops out. Kessel. They're on a cantina in Kessel. Well, the majority of the two players actually weren't there this week, so we said they were somewhere else. Uh, so, we met in Kessel. There's uh, one character met in the game where he's playing with the dice and learning how to play, and one guy, Billy Mays, was trying to sell off his stuff to the Bounty Hunter character, Jordan's character, and it didn't go well. Jordan's character shot him. Billy Mays was then, Billy Mays is hurt now, please don't kill me. And he did not. We killed him up and took him back to Cantina near the starport, where we all met. So, at that point, all the characters are there, and uh, a green toilet comes in named Jacko. Jacko it runs a mercenary company. Recently on Vector Prime, if you know the book series, that's the first book of the uh, Star Wars New Jedi Order. Vector Prime, he had a large ship, a large group of his men meeting there to take a large shipment uh, back to this uh, planet. But what happened was, Yuzhan Vong showed up, destroyed the planet. No one really knows what Yuzhan Vong are yet. And that's it. Uh, he had, so they're all wiped out, and he's looking to get new people. He, everyone in the party has worked with him at one point in the past. Some uh, he hit, got some people out of debt, some they really rescued, all different background stories. Uh, once, so, Jacko says, look, uh, I'm looking to hire you guys. I have a ship waiting in dock. That's the, it's like a Millennium Falcon, but it's a big turtle ship. And that ship waiting for your dock. And uh, job pays 15, 1500 It's 1500 is what you're going to get paid for the job. Total for the whole party, so it's, it's shared. So party's like, okay, here's the job. So they go to the ship. Uh, everyone's there. They talk a little bit in the bar. They goof off with the bartender. Billy Mays tries to sell the bartender stuff. The bartender has no interest in it. So they all go to the ship and get in. <clears throat> so one thing about campaign, campaigns, anything can be happen, anything can be done. I have, this is a full 18 plus game settings that we play and there's no restrictions. So while they're on the ship, they uh one character is in Jordan because he's bounty hunter, he has a family ship, which is part of his character's background design. And so he sits in that ship, he's working on his armor and maintenance maintenance on stuff. He's he's a kind of a fat uh, take takeoff. Billy Mays and the pilot sit in the um, Commons room there watching Holovid TV the whole time, looking for random stuff to do. He then, uh, Billy May says, hey, I heard that on this channel, there's Wookiee porn. And he rolled to see if he knew it, and so they went to that channel. And there was loud grunting and horrible sounds coming from the com room. At what point, one of the characters will, uh, all the character, other characters will listen check. One passed, he ran in there with this gun thinking that someone was being killed by Wookiee, and no, they were watching that, he's like, yo, you guys are sick, and then he left. And then we changed the channel. And that was also the like, infomercial we watched all the way there. Yeah. Uh, one of the funny thing about Star Wars Universe, you know, when they actually talk about it in a few of the off books where they mention it, a lot of the hollow dramas they mention, it sounds like um, like Mexican soap operas. The way they describe them. And that's how I've always pictured it in my head when I talk about it. It's like these horribly overdramatic things with multiple alien species going awry. I, I, I actually think it would be hilarious if they actually made that a thing. But, so they arrive on, uh, where was it? Here, maybe I should read my notes. Therefore, I don't have mind blanks or something in the morning, huh? That'd be good. All right, Geonosis. They were given a job in Geonosis. Now, it's 1500, and I did not mention what the job was. Their job was to capture a red, it was to capture Nexu with a red fin. And they were going to, that, Go to Genesis, there is a sanctuary there where they're breeding them, and some of the breeders got eaten. So they are sending them in to grab it for Sluta the Hut. Yes, Sluta the Hut. New character is going to be recurring. So when they arrive there on Geonosis, uh, they see the other two members of the party, the uh, the Duncan and the Wookiee character. They're there, meet them. There is a big cage at the starport and a box of stun sticks. Well, they're like cheap stun rods. They're not like the fancy ones you saw with the Jedi's. That, that were used by Jedi's. So, 
they unload them, they... Billy Mays goes out and bargains with a few people, and he actually bargains and buys a taxi for the day from a guy, which I don't think he actually returned. Huh, now that will come into effect later. Uh, and then they drive out there. So they go into the preserve. Um, now, these things have, like, gravelets on, so once you push the cage, it just rolls freely, unless you stop it. So they go they go into the sanctuary, the first door opens, and they go in, and one layer closes, then they go in the next door, it opens, then that one closes, then the next door opens and closes. So it's a three-tier gate system to get into this place. And imagine, like, the Dome and Jurassic Park where all the chair are. That's, what you, that's the type of place this is. Huge, absolutely massive. And But there's a path that goes around. Now, I kept hinting at characters to walk around the and ask people. If they did, they would have ran to a man who would have actually given them another job and also given them a map of the compound. But they just wanted to keep go ahead, rush, rush, rush through the mission. So when they finally get there, uh, they start entering, they're looking, and uh, one theme in Nexus they read is that they like to jump from high places. That's what they're known for. And it's tall, tall, tall trees. Big, big trees everywhere. This place is massive. There's like trees, plain air, trees, plain air. So they're they're going along and they see to the right there's, well to the left there's big forest area and then there's like a little flat zone area and there's a big boulder. Like big slowly sitting boulder, but the size of a house. A one story house. And so they push the grab unit. Billy Mays jumps inside it because he wants to be safe in it and slowly go, goes up and over the crest. And just as it crests over top, something jumps up and grabs it and pulls it over. Now, Billy Mays looks up, there's a Nexu on top of the cage, reaching and trying to claw his face off, trying to get at him. And he, Billy Mays panics and screams, says, Billy Mays, he's help, Billy Mays, he's help, and he starts stabbing him. The other players get around, they, they stun it, it falls down. Nexus don't fare well against stun bolts, They're, they give it pretty easy. So they're in a little clearing at the base of this rock, the other characters run around, the other two characters stay back, uh, the Wookiee and the Gungan, to keep line on the forest line because they thought they saw something. Uh, there was another next to there, it comes at Adam, it's again not the one with the red fin, and the other characters start shooting at it, it dodges, it uh, takes a hit, tackles a character, and then it gets stunned while he's on top of the character. Um, there was another one at the edge of the forest. They shot at it. They rolled a success on their uh, die, one of the special symbols, and it ran back in the forest. One character tracked them, and when he saw it, he saw it was with another one, and he shot, took down one, the other one uh, got away. But because it's such a densely lit forest and there's not much light, he couldn't tell if it was the red finned one or not. And at that point, that's where we stopped for the day. Uh, that session ended there. We paused. We took camera shot of the map at the time, and that was it. So that was part one, salute to the huts. Mission was just find the thing, bring it back to uh, Nalheda, and you get your prize, and you get your money. All right, so that, that's the end of this session. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.